Adjusting the pump pressure on your master and Remington kerosene forced air heater is easy and helps your heater operate at its optimal performance level. Please read the owner's manual and all warnings prior to performing any maintenance on your heater. Ignition related issues can be caused by outside factors such as elevation, weather, temperature, or quality of fuel, but may be fixed by a pressure adjustment. For example, if there's no ignition and or smoke is coming out of the front of the heater due to improper ignition, your pressure may be too low. Increasing pressure will add more fuel to the combustion mix. If fuel is coming out of the front without ignition, or there is ignition but flames are visible out of the front of the heater, your pressure may be too high. Before starting, check your model's correct pressure. The model number can be found on the nameplate next to the heater's controls, and the correct pressure for your heater is found in the owner's manual. Your model may include a mark on the adjusting screw indicating the factory pressure setting. Begin by plugging in the heater and turning it on. While the heater is operating, turn the adjusting screw clockwise with a flathead screwdriver to increase pressure and counterclockwise to decrease pressure. By adjusting the pressure, you should see an improvement in the operation of your heater. For more information or assistance on your product, contact our customer care department at 1-800-641-6996 or visit us at pinnacleclimate.com.